talking about main idea, and today we're going to do a new activity where we get to practice main idea. But before we start, can anybody raise their hand and tell me what is main idea? Elliot, what's main idea? It's the main thing we're talking in the story. Okay, James, what do you think main idea is? Um, it's um, the things that all we use together. Okay. When you read a story, main idea is what the story is mostly about, or the big idea in the story. And that's why you see a light bulb. It says main idea is the most important point that the author wants to make in their story. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to find the main idea. Does that sound good? Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good. Excellent. So I want you to look at these pictures. It says, what do the following pictures have in common? That means what do they share that's the same? Okay, thumbs up if you know what that picture is. Kylan, what is that a picture of? Leaves. Excellent. I see some leaves. Okay, thumbs up if you know what that picture is. Kira, what is that picture? Apple. An apple. Excellent. Okay, look, well, here's another one. What is that picture, Katia? A scarecrow. A scarecrow. I'm starting to think what these pictures have in common. And the last picture is a pumpkin. Oh, Charles, what do you think this is? A pumpkin. Excellent. Okay, now I want you to think really hard. What do all those pictures have in common? Or what do they have that is the same? Right then, what do you think all those pictures have in common? Okay, do you see orange? What else might they have in common? They all can be at a farm. They can all be at a farm. What else do they have in common? White and orange. Okay, when do you see all of these things? When do you see all these things? Um, you see the leaves, the pumpkins, and the scarecrow, and Paul, and the apple. Excellent. And I think Madeline has it. So what is the main idea? We see leaves, apples, a scarecrow, and the last one was what class? Pumpkin. Pumpkins. And the main idea is fall. Excellent job, Madeline. You want to try another one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. we see. What is this? Thumbs up if you know what this is. What is this, Carson? A fireman. A fireman. <gasps> what do you see here, Zaria? Um, what do you think that is? Yeah. I do see some glass, but what do you think it is? A doctor. A doctor? Looks like he's doing surgery. What is that? <gasps> Who is that, James? Police. A police officer and one more. What do you think this man is doing, Kira? Um, he's trying to teach. He is teaching. So now I'm thinking, what do all of these things have in common? A firefighter, a doctor, a police officer, and the last one was a teacher. What would they all have in common? What would their main idea be? Do you know, Henry? They all have jobs. They all have jobs. What kind of jobs do they have? They all have helping jobs, and we call those people community helpers. So the main idea of that group of pictures would be community helpers. Okay, now we are going to try to practice this on our own. Are you ready to do that? Thumbs up if you think you can do this on your own. Excellent. Yeah. What do you see in that picture? Scarf. So can you hat on? She first clue. It's like a mystery. Uh, okay, did you find the first one? Yeah. Scarf. Excellent. What did you find on the second picture? A hat. So you have a scarf and a hat. Let's see what the next one is. Do you have an idea of what it might be yet? What do you think it might be? Um, a shoe. A shoe? What's that? Oh, oh really? Mm -hmm. They did another one. Mm -hmm. I did four. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? What is that? I know what it is. A gift? So why would you have a candle, a cake, a party hat, and a gift? What would, this, what would that all be for? A candle, a cake, a party hat, and a gift. What would you need all those things for? I think that's for somebody's birthday. For somebody's birthday. So that would be your main idea. Excellent. So about gift right there. That's your last detail. Okay, do the back side. There's another one on the back. We're talking today about main idea and how we can find main idea when we're reading. We can look at pictures and look for clues. 
We can think about is it fiction or nonfiction, and we can also look for words that are repeated or information that's repeated. So I want you to listen to this page as I read it. Okay, can I borrow yours just a second? It says, have you ever seen such a long tongue? A chameleon's tongue is as long as a chameleon. It's fast, too. The chameleon sees an insect. It shoots its tongue toward the bug. The chameleon's tongue has a sticky tip. The tongue wraps around the insect. The chameleon pulls the insect into its mouth. Then on the bottom it says chameleons are in, eat insects, spiders, and scorpions. Bigger chameleons eat small birds. What do you think the main idea of that page is that I just read to you? What do you think that page was all about? What was the author trying to tell us there? Okay, he was eating an insect. And how did he eat that insect? From his sticky tongue. From his sticky tongue. And and as I'm reading that, I hear the author use the word tongue several times. Can you find the word tongue on that page? It's on there more than once. That's one of my clues. Can you point to the word tongue? And also, if you look at the picture, can you find his long, sticky tongue? In the picture, can you find the long, sticky tongue, Carson? Excellent. It's bumpy. So the main idea of that page was telling me about how the how the chameleon uses its tongue to do what, Charles? Eat the fly. Eat the fly. Excellent job. Flying insects right out of the air. What was that page all about? Look at the picture and think about what I just read you. What was the main idea on this page? Got that for a second. What do you think the author was trying to tell us about on this page? What do you think he was trying to tell us about on this page? He was telling us about his eyes, and she said how his eyes, both of them, move one way and the other way, so that's a great detail that he can move his eyes both ways, but the main idea of this page was all about his what? Eyes. All about his eyes. Excellent job. So what is your book all about? What's the main idea? Chameleons. Chameleon. So don't forget to put that in the middle. And I like your details. If they blend in. And you can turn blue. Excellent. Good job. Okay, they can change color. Excellent. So what is this page telling you about? What about them? What do you think the main idea? Look at the picture. What do you think it's trying to tell you about? Hmm. Is it 